Welcome to Wall Street Training's exhibit on Excel iterations. After you have created a circular reference, primarily for the purposes of using average balance to calculate interest expense and interest income, you need to tell Excel to turn on iterations so that it will know how to calculate the appropriate numbers with a circular reference. For more information on why a circular reference is required for the purposes of financial model building, please feel free to refer to our exhibit and our module on circular references. Let's now assume that we currently have $100 of net income. This $100 of net income, which is currently in black, is the first beginning point of our first iteration. This $100 of net income will flow to the cash flow statement, cash flow from operating activities. Let's currently assume that there's nothing else going on in the company and that this $100 of net income directly results to an increase in cash of the same $100. Assuming we have a 10% interest income rate, this means that we now have $10 of interest income that we will calculate. This $10 of interest income will be the beginning point of our second round of iterations now in blue. This $10 of interest income will flow back into the income statement to calculate a new net income of $110. This $110 now flows back to the net income on a cash flow statement under CFO. This $110 of net income will now result in an increase in total cash of $110. Likewise, at a 10% interest income rate, that means we have additional interest income of $1 for a total interest income of $11. This $11 now will be the first beginning point of our third round of iterations, now in red. This $11 will flow back to the income statement to now get a new net income of $111. This $111 now again flows back to our cash flow from operations, net income is a total of $111 which means we have a total increase in our cash of $111. Again, at the same 10% interest rate, this means you now have interest income of $11.10. Excel will repeat this process until there are no changes to any of these numbers. And here at this point, you can clearly see that by the third iteration in red, the dollar amount of change has went from $10 to $11, so dollar difference, to now $0.10. Cents. And this will be further completed until there is no change in any of these numbers to however Excel calculates roughly 15 or 20 significant digits. This is now exactly the logic that Excel will apply to your numbers when you do have a circular reference for the purposes of calculating average ending balance for interest income and interest expense. Let's take a quick look now on our computer to see how we would actually physically turn this on in Excel to turn on iterations. So if you were to load Excel, once we have Excel open, we want to go to Tools Options to turn on iterations. Please go to Alt-T-O, T for Tools, O for Options, or navigate to the menus on top. Once we are in the Tools Option dialog box, please navigate to the Calculation tab. In the middle of the Calculation tab, we want to make sure that iteration is checked on. On the maximum iterations, you can put a number in here. 500 will be sufficient. In this case, Excel will iterate and go through those processes 500 times and stop. Either that, or it will stop once there is no change greater than 0 .001 or any number you can put in a few zeros, five or six zeros is fine, or you can even have this as a true hard-coded zero will be sufficient. Once you have done this, you may hit OK, and now you have turned on iterations. Once you have turned on iterations, you will see that your status bar will now say calculate instead of circular. Again, for more information on circular references, please feel free to refer to our exhibit. Thank you very much.